Hello friends, good evening, how are you guys doing? Olá amigos, tudo joia, tudo joia. What on how today? We are back for one more round of Formula 1 22 and today we are in the F1 mood. <laughs> It's race weekend and they will be racing in Belgium on the track of Spa Francochamp Francochamps So we will be uh, having fun on this track today agenda is busy but before we talk about the agenda talk a little bit about the channel thanks everyone for the follows for the subscribes for the thumbs ups in youtube or here in twitch I appreciate it i'm always trying to check your channel as well here in this channel we stream formula 1 22 but i also have videos and past pod, uh, podcasts <laughs> faster is streaming in uh, formula 1 2021 and 2020 uh, you can find them in my channel youtube youtube marcelo f1 sim It's just trying to get into the rhythm um, but we will get we will get there um, yeah and we talk about what's happening in the world of Formula One and everything about motorsport and yeah so if you like Formula One if you like the game I always try to post here some tips and tricks and how we are progressing on the game and also I'm gathering some uh, car setup and tricks and some clips on my youtube channel as well so if you subscribe to my channel you will find a playlist called F1 setups F122 setups and F122 clips where as I go here in the game and I find the tracks I'm adding to those playlists Uh, clips and videos from all the drivers, the Formula One, uh, from the esports, uh, or some famous or very good guys uh, on this game. So I add the tips and the tricks and all the setups and the videos there as well, so you can check it out and get some information from them and try to apply to your game also cool and the agenda for today is mainly belgium uh we will start with zero percent ai five laps grand prix realistic performance and we will pick ferrari we'll see which one we're gonna pick on the second one with 110 ai let's go with leclerc And we will pick first 0% AI, 5 laps, then 110% AI, see the difference, and uh, realistic. Then um, I'm gonna jump and show the track itself, walk through it, showing the corners, showing the breaking points. Um, curbs all the, those interesting things regarding the track after that I will show the car setup I came what I came up with from testing different setups from esports drivers and also from channels in YouTube um, that I've seen so I then adapt to my racing style so I'll be showing uh, that setup and once that's done we will try a hot lap uh, put everything together and see and have fun in a hot lap so this is the first part of the streaming for today all about Belgium lots of fun gonna have some racing now some crashes and some overtakes that's gonna be fun 
and then we go to the details and technical parts and things like that for the second part of the streaming today we then jump into my team I've been in Australia so it's round three for about a week or two now because it's been so exciting the weekly events with um, those very exciting tracks this week spa last week was Miami and we just get lost sometimes playing those and end up not prioritizing much my team because it's always there I can always jump and do it when I want and as it is Australia I'm taking my time learning properly not rushing into it so I can really properly do a nice race and maybe score my first point point into the championship which we are now on the round three and no points yet the the AI has been mad on my team as if you guys are following the game you guys know that the straight line speed was crazy but with the patches with the updates it's supposed to be better I haven't tried it yet because I haven't done the race in my team career mode yet since the update but I'm expecting that will be much better I guess if it um, the last race in Saudi was already getting better so I'm assuming now that's not gonna be any issues because the AIs were just insanely fast it was very difficult to, to get past them and another good news is that crossplay is now definite, definitely or finally available uh, for Formula 122 crossplay. So we can play against the guys in different platforms. And I have an idea maybe to do a co op with some of the guys that follows in the channel so because they are sometimes in different platforms like xbox or steam in a pc so now we can play together and maybe have a co-op here with one of the guys that will be fun um yeah cross play maybe at the end if we still have some time but let's see how much we will belgium will take from us how much time it will take from us so starting now then part one Belgium zero percent AI weekend structure is gonna be standard practice format not need practice one shot qualifying short five laps uh, the weather I prefer maybe just clear yeah just let's do clear season start time realistic and perfect just one session start time that is fine realistic good 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 now AI we will start with zero then we will go with 110 on the next one flashbacks let's put medium we, we might need it <laughs> and i think now everything is good One shot qualifying Belgium. Yep, 
softs okay set up let's load okay. and if we have one uh, spa this is the one I created <laughs> we don't need this I'm gonna just move one up Okay, so as it is on the one lap, I'm probably fine. Let me. I don't think there will be any issues with um tire tire temperature. So let's find out. I'm already going through a rush. No. Ah, ah, Realistic performance is not a vibe. line there even forgot forgot to the GRS the man how come how oh I got full position <laughs> and that's zero percent AI we are starting it's interesting because I think it's the first time I'm playing with realistic with performance. Complete, let's review our top three today. With 152, second one, 159. Now, then, but really, Big we're difference. Just Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. It's actually my best uh, time because my, my previous best time was 155 and now 152. So definitely improving. And was not even great, so it definitely can get much better times. But, but again, the impression, the impression of playing with realistic was interesting. Even the force feedback, I noticed a bit more juicy there. So hmm, let's check it out. So section length short. Everything ready, let's go to race, 0% AI. Based in the Ardennes countryside, Spa hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925. This historic track is loved by our drivers and fans alike. So it's a warm welcome from the Belgium Grand Prix. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes forest. Let's run you through the driver grid order. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I know Do we need to do, do it again or I think it's all good. Oh actually 
Yeah, it might be full tire pressure, so let's load it again. And spa. Yeah, let's see. Nice, the temperature is good. Let's wait for the best moment to do some overtaking. I should have done on the outside, but I was not expecting that they would be so slow. Starting to open. Let's see. When we can overtake on the outside, get on the inside on the second turn. Okay, now with the nice straight, let's try to overtake them here. Going on the inside. Oops, sorry, Max. He's defending. Ah, I saw that coming. <laughs> A little squeeze on the throttle and I was gone. Let's see if we can get it. One racing group is now following. Thanks for following, Just Jam. How are you doing? Oh. Come on. Hey. Okay, let's get signs. Now I'm closing up this tight. Uh -huh. I thought he was going to defend, honestly. He didn't defend. Hi mate mate, me and my mate have recently set up in one front league. There are currently lots of spots available and pre-season starts in a couple. Ah, that sounds really good. I don't know if I I can commit to um PS colon slash slash T I S C O R D dot G G slash T three E K P P N A Perfect thing to the Discord if you would be interested. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I will check it out. Just give me a second. Oh a league. Yeah, thank you so much. I will definitely check it out and see if I can join. Thank you so much for the invite, my friend. I'll check it out. And thanks for the follow. I will check uh, your channel later on as well and follow back.
Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. Okay, let's get size. On the inside. Yes, give me space. If you don't give me space, I make space. I'm not brave enough to do flat Euroge and still I don't want to throw the race away <laughs> just to get a spin super extra cautious I won't be able to do that when playing 110 AI on the next round but this is good for warm up. Uh -huh. I forgot that this is the turn. You need to be slow in the entry. Oops, not in the grass. Okay, track limits. <laughs> Doing like wet racing line. Great work, that's a new fastest lap of the race. He's still got the fastest lap of the race. So Let's fix some of these racing lines. Let's try flat now. <laughs> it's so tough to do this Eruj flat. I don't have more flashbacks. I knew I should have to look at it first. This is end for us, definitely. Unless I do 360. Ah, that's gone. That's bad. You're right. <laughs> I thought I had put um, replay with that session. Retire from session. Okay, let's retire. And we're gonna get 110 AI now. We definitely would be able to win. So let's create a new one, start a new one. And this time we will start with Red Bull Realistic Performance. Advance Max Verstappen Yeah, that's the the one we have five laps standard. We like to be on the try and now a hundred and ten Hard Expert Master Legend Oh Ultimate. So flashbacks medium was not enough, so let's put high. <laughs> and I think all should be good now. Yeah. So let's 
so let's see how our lap is gonna compare now with 110 10 AI I think we're gonna be last because the fastest laps are around 141 1 minute 41 seconds so if we did 152 probably we're gonna be kicked out to the end so car setup load there we go see if everything is still the same okay I see the data has changed because I changed it for the quality but it ended up saving it what it was before I think I've got a needle to any more now we have zero and yeah, that's fine and save. save that's fine I need to save now and let's go Okay, now uh, big lift, not the best line I got. TRS is open, yes. What else we need? Check this, yep. You can see that the AI already is gone. Nothing the best of the lines. Got into the grass, messy. Hey, messy, messy, messy. This is definitely a different car, the way it's behaving. <laughs> I think this is the pole, Carlos. tomorrow's race but before we begin let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid Sainz, Perez and Charles Leclerc with qualifying complete all that remains now is the main event. <laughs> I did put a time yes so they are doing the 144 so sure you join us then. we will definitely be in the back anyways because look 142 with 110 percent AI let's let's try put a lap the car is definitely different uh, load car setup we could definitely do some changes but ah, the tires again Save. Mm. 
it save, right? It save with the name of ah, okay. Why well, it save with the name of Ferrari before? It's weird. Maybe need to do it a couple of times, like one or two times. Okay, let's try again. See if we can get a clean lap. Like Russ is gone. I uh, managed to do it flat this time for the first time in this game on a red bull I was able to do flat out a route losing a lot of on the steering a lot which is interesting ah no way it feels like the car is going to snap away at end stage uh, it's still not it's still valid so let's continue Get the lap valid. One fifty two, one fifty three again. So it's still not enough. Close to the one forty fours that we to be in a good position there but we got a, a lap in with qualifying finished it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three we Perez, definitely Sainz, there. And 153 well, even slower than the one we had with we'll the Ferrari with 0% AI the so let's start from the back of the grid 110% AI now for the race and probably see how many laps we will get overtaken, overtaken or, or lapped. Based in the Arden countryside, Spa hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925. This historic track is loved. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and a very. <laughs> and I'm delighted. Max Verstappen will start from the back of the grid. So let's just double check that the setup is there, so let's just load it. It's a strange how the force feedback gives like a chunk, a clunk when pass through a erosion the last part on the top when changing directions. Okay, so let's see if I can follow them. Fix those lines. Let me 
damage, no damage. go flat on the green mark. Ah, uh, too much of that curb. I'll try to avoid that curb next. Two warnings. Looks like we don't have enough downforce as well. The unrealistic performance, maybe they set up zero wee wings and two on the front, is not ideal.
And this Red Bull is really nice to drive. But it's quite loose maybe because I don't have much wings. Just waiting. I think I heard my my daughter making a noise, but maybe it was not her. Hey, hey, come on! Where? <laughs> Completely chaos. Oh shit, those sausage cups are crazy. Our gap to the car in front is thirty point one seconds. Come back. Uh, look at those tires. Right, and and ten AI. We didn't get overlapped, which is good. No blue flags or anything. I saw that they it's still we still behind, but not that much. So we are improving definitely. But to get to fight with these guys, you need to be doing consistently one minute and forty-two, minute and forty-three. Um, to have a chance of winning against 110 AI. Red Bull are up. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? From Charles Leclerc showed Leclerc. exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. And Incredible so stuff. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks oh, to everyone who joined us. Was and we'll 152. see you for the next one. So we have about 8 seconds there to... Isn't it 8 seconds, 8 seconds to, to get into the fight? That was cool, that was really fun, 0% AI, we definitely would have won that race, but we met the wall, um, 
but the time wise the AI with 0% was around 1 minute and 59, 58 so we were doing like 152 so we are good and then after you can increase the AI to 10, 20, 30, 40% according to your lap times so you can have more fun so not just playing extremely high and then you don't have any fights, any battles as the AI is extremely fast or if it's too easy as well you might be just running front and then not getting a chance to improve your race craft which is really important we we saw how it's difficult sometimes know where to overtake when to defend how the AIs are behaving if they're defending or not if they're being too crazy so it's very important know which um which AI level to choose depending on the track and the ability in the tracks as promised we then are going now to a walk through the track and talk about what would be the ideal from what I have learned one thing is you know what to do and another thing is you actually do it on the track so let's load my setup spa as we are in time trial we can crank this up to the maximum all looking good and let's check as well if what time of the day like always to be on official not Netherlands Belgium and official starting of yeah confirm settings and now we then do the walkthrough and car setup and hot lap let's do it um, let's load Then we add this again. That's fine. Just save it. Yeah. Save it. And let's start now our walkthrough. Belgium GP and the track is called the Spa Franklin Champs before you start then your hot lap this is the last turn or chicane so take it easy open as much as you can and then start to push it from here then what I'm doing is a short shift I think that's the term used, you don't wait for the lights go all the way to the blue there so you short shift into third, fourth very smoothly so to get that traction going talking about traction we have 60 on differential and 50 on front brake bias so if you are skilled enough higher that she came we would raise this to 52 percent sometimes to 54 the front brake bias because you get more efficient front brake as it's very strong here the brake brake around here just past 100 meters then we will probably be in seventh gear, then downshift all the way to third. Some guys doing third, sometimes good guys doing second. I'm trying now in second because it helps me to add more rotation. Then second gear and dive it in 
here from here just try to get the car as straight as much as I can when the car is straight then short gear short up shift again like from third fourth fifth and then from fifth then you wait for the full uh, rev six seven then into eighth gear the ideal conditioning here is keep on the right eighth gear then you can reduce the brake bias again to 50 because it's gonna come fast corners differential that is fine then you start to measure here as straight as you can as we can and get around here using maximum of the track without getting out of the track you see it didn't get any warnings yet eighth gear flat no lifts but around here when depending on the tire usage condition weather if it's wet so you need to lift lift is just leave the throttle and come back in or down to seventh gear and then push it on all the way up to the top and then upshift to it again but the ideal the best is eight gear flat not lifting keep your wrist line perfectly nice and tight here to the right and then when the car starts to slide to the left you turn it back back here to the left to get the exit around here so every time you do that right to left the car do a little shake there so GRS is on coming up keeping the car on the right getting the GRS and now here we start to open and that just picking up the best line I think the best is around here less bumps and then the braking just before a little bit before the 50 down to 5th gear I've seen some guys getting a lot of this curb earlier here but usually when I get it I spin or I get it too late so I avoid it and then here keeping 5th and then try again to get the curb here on the inside continue the down Six, seven, then down to fourth. There is a curb, and you can open more if you are skilled enough. You can open much more before coming down to the right. So fourth key, keeping nice and tight to the inside of the curb or the inside of the turn, and open up. And then fifth. Again, can continue fifth. Just a small break and try to get that curb inside it he has a nice push to help to turn i wasn't able to do that any almost any time during the previous races because it's so hard and you need to have a good car setup with a good downforce especially on the front so the car can push the turn I, I think for the realistic performance i you need more downforce then the time trial performance um, that we on we, the one we have here. Otherwise, the car always is lighted. It's difficult to get those those apex. Then going up here would be around eighth gear. Then quick downshift to seventh gear. Inside the apex, flat, just nice opening, and then eighth using all the track again here if it's skilled enough using the track getting the curves probably fifth gear then up shift again boom boom down to fourth getting here the those curves you see is very shallow so it's fine opening as much as you can then here up shift 
depending on the amount of downforce you can really start flat from down there which is very difficult but from that house forward is flat flat when I mean says you full throttle up shift probably 8 gear nice and tight on the left and opening to the right and here nice turn here into the apex so you can get the exit here on the limit and then prepare for the last chicane 100 meter max that one that passed go down downshift into third and remember to change bias to maybe 54 it will help the brake turning in on third gear a little throttle maybe to get more momentum another turn and quick upshift smoothly to cross the line so this is spa Pragma jumps um, all of that is from what I've observed from the real drivers and from game as well from the eSport drivers and it's easy to explain it but when you are actually doing the lab to apply all of that is really hard really really hard depending especially as well on the car setup can be even more difficult cool so let's now go to before the hot lap we return to the garage and we check then what we have so for the aerodynamics 2 and 0 that's what I was mentioning before it seems that this is not enough for the GP with realistic performance for the cars it, it slides a, a lot and I wasn't able to hit the apex properly um, transmission seems to be working fine I would even increase maybe a little bit for 51, 52 um, for off throttle to get a little bit more stability that's standard right right left left suspension that's what I came with six and eight for front and softs for the rears one one and eight four seems to be the standard I've seen many guys using that um, brakes and tires as this time trial is on the maximum but for the race it will bring it down to soft and adjust it so you get the best tire usage so the only change I've done now is 51 there and let's bring it to the track for a hot lap and see what's gonna be our time Let's check how much I'll be able to apply the things I mentioned. Now let's try flat first. flat managed nicely it was easy on the Mercedes okay let's go completely with no grip there and wrong brake as well but we got purple on the first sector that's how we have gonna do a rouge and definitely that turn as well was my braking because I lifted too early so I lost the grip on the front 
so I didn't reach the apex, so I strike. Loads of shaking here on the and with this setup to go flat on the original, let's fix this yeah, time try, it's accepted more because the tire pressures temperatures are ideal so you are on the best grip a bit confused there with the gears So now we can put the brake forward again. Oh no way. Uh, I did not pay attention there. Let's check how much we're gonna do. 150, that would be the best lap ever but it didn't got registered because we lost that turn so I think we can make it let's do one more time hot lap almost everything that I was mentioning on the uh, walkthrough I was able to implement um, I got a few confusing a few downshifts in the mid sector so let's try to fix that and that last turn and see if we can get 150 again to get it registered in our record This thing was perfect on the limit of Eurouge. Eurouge, that is difficult at that, so difficult. it up with the TRS but it's still managing
Ah, no way. We were minus nine in the delta, and I let it slip there. Okay. Let's get that clean up. We can do it. Minus nine. We were good. You see, I didn't put the brake forward how long it took for me to stop this time. That was messy. That was messy. Didn't have the... See if I can change the brake already. No, we can't. Oop. That was a strange. Now it was already fixed because I had changed it. Nice. That's good. Tonight it would be Again, in every single corner, this is it. This is it. Last attempt on the hot lap to get it registered. Look at that awesome. We are on post six seconds on the delta, making progress, and now I think this is the lap. I think this is the lap. Again, trying to be a little bit more conservative, but do not get the lap invalidated. 
but if you can now manage to go to the inside, I think move 8, 6, 7, 8 here, down to 7, and keeping the line, mind the track units. Push a little bit down to both gear, getting the curves to get it rotated. Those curves are magical to help, but it's difficult to get them. Forty feet now. That lost a little bit of confidence there, but it would get flat and much even more time. And get to the end of the lap. Nice line to bend for the brake, brake forward, brake back forward, brake in the right moment to bring the car across the line for a hot lap and also a fast best time so far 1.40.7.4.9 faster than ever that is a hot lap done many things came together just the mid sector that apex i didn't manage to get it but i managed to get fast through it so it was good happy happy lots of improvement now from 148 to 142 or 141 that's the best lap world record so it's not doesn't look much much so better than 10 seconds now it's just like six seconds so happy with that i can see many corners many places that i can use more the track use more the curves because you get very good grip i still not trust it too will this cup give me the grip that i needed and then you go through it was like oh you actually start to get confidence in the track that that curb is gonna help to move the car so it's cool definitely with practice you can get even more i can get even more time here i can see completed uh, spa program jump um races 0% ai 110% ai walk through the track car setup and now hot lap done and dusted we are now on the mood for for moment in the weekend and see who's gonna win i think it's gonna be like i think like is gonna take this one and I think the Ferraris, especially Russell, might be a special car there. Russell in this track, Russell and London Norris. Imagine Leclerc, Russell and London Norris, or even London Norris win this race. Wow, that would be so cool. Looking forward to that. That's going to be really cool to see how it's going to pan out. So we did 140, 148, right? Yeah, 148. This is how I was doing uh, on the previous streaming, 155. So we improved very nice, like seven seconds, seven to eight seconds there. So really cool. Not gonna do another qualifying for that. We are done with Belgium, no more Belgium and let's have a look in my team let's have a look in canada i am learning more and more about this track and we have wet conditions so so 
let's play a little bit with car setup for the wet conditions maybe play a little bit with ride height and wings and see how it goes we can choose wet for wet i don't think we can but that's gonna be interesting to see no i don't think you can yeah unavailable unavailable recommended so what we have 20 23 50 50 4 2 4 2 6 3 3 4 and we were playing with Australia Inters testing to so play around with the <coughs> settings on the wind and on the wet 25 25 transmission 15 So this is practice right yeah so there we can so for three for three let's try for three we suspension soft seven five Let's put two degrees higher in the front and see what we get. Okay, that's all the checks complete. We're ready to go. It's nice with the inter tires. The temperature is kind of green. It's showing green, so would be I think it's ideal. So we don't need to worry much about the warming up the tires. That's the differential, 55 and bring 52. Yeah, I have more downforce, and it's really helping with the wet weather. That curb is not meant to do that. The tire temperature went down.
let's fix that front wing and then we go out again to test that setup We've had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. Okay, need to allow me just to, to choose the wet, so it's so all good. Right, the car's ready. Let's get it out there. <laughs> you are disqualified. And with the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. This is not the car setup as we are using this one, testing for inters, wet condition. Being radical. Um, bum bum bum, and here for a tree. Legs and tires. Let's throw tires all the way down and see. Everyone ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Now we are just taking it easy, chilling here in Australia, testing out setup wet conditions.
raising the differential to 16 as it was trying to help turning when I'm tr on trouble with wet the car was sliding a little bit Oh, now it's easy to, difficult to catch up when this slide happens, difficult. I can try to open differential completely, but let's go a little bit more with 60. <laughs> okay, that lap was no good. We need to improve on that. Okay, let's open the differential now.
Try again. Let's put back that cumber on the rear. Fifty. Let's put that cumber back. And let's see, maybe one, maybe two. I think one might be the way to go. All clear the garage, please. Cars ready to leave. All clear. Hmm. I think that cumber in the rear might help with the uh, losing the the rear on the turns like I was doing. a warning there which one is that what's wrong now everything seems to be fine hmm is that engine 60 gearbox and 60. Hmm, not sure. Someone else on the on the track. We were so quiet for was quiet for quite some time. Oh, the tires are cold now on the rear. Okay, that feels better. Why the temperature in the rear is, is falling now? Falling out.
time is too slow. You need to find more speed. Make sure to properly utilize your overtake button. overtake button for maximum power. <laughs> nice as light. Qualifying pace, we are not there yet.
Okay, engines fired up. We're set. 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 Go. Let's check the tire pressure, tire temps, temperature, tire temps. I added more pressure, so it should increase a tiny bit. The rears were around 68, 67 at the time. There's a lot of downforce. Seems to be better. Oh yeah. It seems to be better. Stable through that turn. Balance now. I should have lived there.
136179 so very close let me save that setup seems to be a good good one so 3028 it's working it's working on wets much better seven seven one one four three tires yeah i think now it's just properly do the turns hit the apexes breaking points but the car seems to be much more stable not losing the rear all the time and much more consistent in the ground i think i'm happy with that so let's save Let's keep it on the test for now. Australia Inters testing. Pretty cool. And let's have fun a little bit more and do a qualifying lap. Okay, guys, everyone be aware the car's ready to go. There is some potential issue there with the car already. Looks like maybe it's the gearbox. I think it break much more later than Hmm, interesting. Let's see if we can break a little bit past a hundred meters. Well, that was a hundred and fifty, I think.
Let's see if we can drag the session save. This is it. I think that was fun. It's getting late, getting tired. Now we had loads of fun in Belgium, loads of content. I'll be uploading them on YouTube, maybe doing some editing. And thanks to guys for the for the likes, for the follows, for the uh, subscribe, thumbs up for the invites and I will check your channels later and see you next time. Take care. Bye.